Hello and welcome to the Electric Singularity. My name is Sam Evans. Today's article, from the Cybertruck to New Roadster. These are Tesla's seven future vehicles and when they're set to arrive. I'll read you the article so that you can listen to this on your way to work or otherwise, and then I'll share my thoughts. Tesla plans to roll out several new vehicles in the near future. Elon Musk's automaker is planning a pickup, a tractor trailer, a supercar, and a US $25,000 EV. Tesla is also planning a van that might end up transporting people in Musk's future tunnel networks. Well, they're not entirely future. There's already some boring company tunnels that have been built. Despite being the most valuable automaker on the planet, Tesla has a relatively sparse vehicle lineup as compared with other car companies. The company, by far the most successful purveyor of electric vehicles, sells just four models, the Model S and Model 3 sedans, along with the Model X and Model Y crossovers. Ford sells double that number of SUVs alone. Don't worry, guys. Tesla's coming for you. But Elon Musk's automaker has grand plans to expand its offerings in the near future. A semi-truck, pickup truck, supercar, and high-performance sedan are all supposed to arrive by 2022. And Musk has said an electric ATV, a US $25,000 car, and a van are in the works as well. Cybertruck. Tesla Cybertruck caused a stir upon its reveal during a splashy event in 2019, and not just because its supposedly bulletproof windows shattered on stage twice. The pickup's unconventional design polarized onlookers with fans describing it as futuristic and daring and critics saying it looked like something out of a primitive video game. Some wondered what its sharp corners might do to pedestrians in a crash. Yet, the Cybertruck has attracted more than 600,000 non-binding pre-orders. Uh, this article is actually incorrect. The pre-orders are now over 940,000. So by time of first deliveries, I believe pre-orders for Cybertruck will be well over 1.1 million. It will come in three configurations, single motor rear-wheel drive, dual motor all-wheel drive, and tri-motor all-wheel drive, and will offer up to 805 kilometers of range, according to Tesla. Pricing will start at US $40,000, Tesla said in 2019, and volume production will likely begin in 2022, Musk said in January. So the base model, interjecting here with my own thoughts, the base model is US $40,000, the mid-spec dual motor model is $50,000, and the tri-motor model is $60,000. I believe most people have ordered the mid-spec $50,000 model, uh, with the second most orders going to the tri tri motor model, and the least number of orders going the Roadster. When Tesla revealed the new Roadster in 2017, aiming for a 2020 launch date, Musk said it will be the fastest production car ever made. Period. Tesla claims the four seat supercar will sprint to 100 miles per hour in 4.2 seconds on its way to a top speed of more than 402 kilometers an hour. According to the EV maker, the Roadster will be able to travel 998 kilometers on a charge, farther than any EV on the market today. Musk has also said he wants to equip the Roadster with compressed air rocket thrusters to boost acceleration and potentially give it the ability to hover short distances. Needless to say, a flying Tesla probably won't fly with regulators. Sure, that might be the case, but uh, maybe a little bit of a button you can use when you're on the track or on your property or something like that. I don't see that being a big issue. Back to the article. The new Roadster is priced starting at US $200,000 and is slated to enter production in 2022. The Tesla Semi. Like the Cybertruck and Roadster, the Tesla Semi, the carmaker's Class 8 truck, has remained in vehicle development purgatory since it was announced in 2017. Tesla initially eyed 2019 for the Big Rig's launch, but later pushed that date to 2020 and finally to 2021. Over the years, the prospect of a battery-powered tractor-trailer has attracted lots of attention from major retailers and shippers eager to spend less on fuel and maintenance. Uh, interjecting here with some anecdotal reports here, I've heard of many Tesla owners never servicing their vehicle other than just getting tires replaced and just the basics like replacing your windscreen wipers. So it could potentially, the Tesla Semi could potentially save companies millions of dollars in co operating costs not only on fuel costs but also servicing and also potentially with automation now tesla's semi will have automation technology whether or not that'll go live uh, when the trucks are released i doubt it 
but probably will, I would say, by the end of maybe end of 2022, maybe 2023. And for those fleet operators who have a semi which is running on electricity, uh, doesn't need servicing or ba very basic level of servicing, uh, has a longer life compared to its competitors with batteries that will last up to a million miles and also has the ability to drive autonomously, you can imagine the billions of dollars of savings this would present to the trucking industry. Back to the article. Over the years, the prospect of a battery-powered tractor trailer has attracted lots of attention from major retailers and shippers eager to spend less. Pepsi, Walmart, Anheuser-Busch, UPS and FedEx have all placed reservations for the semi which Tesla expects will cost US $180,000 for a model with 805 kilometers of range. 483 kilometer range semi will also be available for US 150,000. So as we know, Tesla has quite a lot of pre-orders for this semi. So there's a, a lot of, the market's very excited for this to be built. The Model S Plaid Plus, widely added to Tesla's site in January, the Model S Plaid Plus is set to be the most off the wall version of Tesla's long running electric luxury sedan. Tesla used to sell the sporty performance Model S, but updated its lineup to include two high-powered Plaid versions instead. The regular Model S Plaid is available now and offers up to 630 kilometers of range at 322 km hour top speed and, and a zero to 60 mile per hour time of under two seconds, according to Tesla. Well, we know Tesla doesn't lie about their own 100 times. They've been proven many times in YouTube videos and all over the internet. So the fact that they've said it will do under two seconds, zero to 60 miles per hour, so zero to 100 kilometers an hour, that is just mind blowing. And that's going to change the industry. There's going to be, just a wait, there's going to be YouTube videos everywhere showing the new Model S Plaid or wiping the floor with supercars. 1.9 seconds, 0 to 100 or zero to 60 will absolutely demolish many of the world's fastest petrol cars, supercars, which cost in the millions. I think it's going to cause a fair bit of embarrassment. Tesla says it will generate more than 1,100 horsepower from three motors. The Model S Plaid Plus will run at, will cost US $150,000 or Australian $200,000, and it starts shipping in the middle of 2022. The US $25,000 Tesla compact electric car. Tesla has steadily been decreasing the price of electric vehicles for years, but its EVs are set to get even cheaper in the near future. At the company's Battery Day event in September 2020, Musk promised that a US $25,000 fully autonomous Tesla would hit the market about three years from now. So that's 2023. Musk has admitted himself that punctuality isn't his strong suit. That's a fair comment. So it's fair to take that timeline with a grain of salt. But Tesla appears to be making headway on the plans. The company aims to complete a research and development center in China that will develop the budget EV by the end of 2021. Tesla China President Tom Zhu said in a February interview with Chinese media, if Tesla can release a compact $25,000 EV for US $25,000 with full autonomy, even by 2024, their company valuation will absolutely skyrocket. And this is one of the reasons I recommend to everyone to own Tesla. The market for TAAS as a service is astronomical. So there is huge, huge upside and potential for a Tesla compact car with full autonomy. You can imagine them getting around as taxis and that kind of thing. Okay, the Cyber Quad. The Cyberquad hit the scene as a last minute surprise announcement during Tesla's Cybertruck unveiling, and we haven't heard much about it since. Tesla hasn't discussed pricing, a launch date, or any specs. And the reason for this, I believe, is they're not really taking this seriously and have no real intention to release this vehicle within the next few years. However, some sleuthing by automotive journalist Bozi Tatarivik appears to have uncovered that the Cyberquad at least the one shown during the Cybertruck event, shares a platform with a gas-powered Yamaha Raptor ATV. Musk has said Tesla is aiming to roll out the two-person electric ATV at the same time as the Cybertruck, and that the quad will be at first available as an option for the pickup. I think that's highly unlikely. I'd be very surprised that we see that within the next two, three years. The Tesla van. Musk has floated the idea of a Tesla van more than once, 
Most recently, during a February interview on Joe Rogan, the podcast in which he said it's possible the EV will have an array of solar panels on it. Before that, Musk said on a conference call in January that it plans, that Tesla plans to build a van at some point, but that it's been held back by a lack of battery supply. It's possible that a future high capacity Tesla would be used as a shuttle for passengers on networks of subterranean roadways built by the Boring Company, a tunneling firm that Musk also runs and owns. A San Bernardino County transportation official let it slip in June that the country, that the county.